I'm Larry Anglisano reporting for Kit Plains Magazine here at Garmin's Flight Ops in Olathe, Kansas. Now coming into Sun and Fun 2016, Garmin has two major products for the experimental and the LSA market, a electronic flight instrument and a newly designed Bluetooth audio panel. Here at Garmin's Jessica Kosh is going to tell us about both, but let's start with the G5. The G5 is a three and a half inch bright sunlight readable LCD display. It can serve as a great primary instrument in a VFR avionics suite as well as a great backup uh, electronic flight instrument and to G3X as well as other EFAS systems in the cockpit. Uh, the G5 displays attitude, ground track, altitude, air speed, ground speed, vertical speed, course deviation, slip skid, as well as vertical deviation and contains a dedicated HSI page. Well, that's a lot for a backup system but uh, there's also some major interaction with the G3X Touch. Although the G5 is a, serves as a very dissimilar um, electronic flight instrument. There's a lot of redundancy built into the G5 flight instrument when it's paired with G3X and G3X Touch. In the unlikely event of an Atahars failure in either a G3X or G3X Touch system, the Atahars can be pulled from G5 and used by G3X and G3X Touch. So the G5 is mainly all self-contained. Looks like it has a pitot-static input, a battery pack, and a uh, coax connector. Is that right? That's right. It also contains a built-in GPS antenna, but for those who need it, they can incorporate an external antenna if they'd like. But is it made for a three-inch instrument cutout? It is. So it makes for a very simple installation. And on the back side, when paired with the backup battery, measures about three inches in depth. Without the battery, it's only about 2.1 inches. Taking redundancy one step further, when the G5 electronic flight instrument is paired with the GMC 305 or 307 autopilot mode controllers and the GSA 28 autopilot servos, the autopilot status bar can display on G5. In the unlikely event of a G3X display failure, we can still retain full autopilot control functionality on the G5 and the GMC 307 or GMC 305. So the G5 will tie in with a portable GPS and a paddle mount GPS. That's right. When paired with a portable such as the Aeris 660 and the Garmin Autopilot, the G5 can couple laterally and vertically to an active flight plan and even fly a vertical descent profile. And if paired with an IFR navigator such as the GTN 750, it can also fly coupled GPS approaches. And when's it going to be available? Expected to be available April of this year for $1,199. One of our new Sun and Fun announcements is the panel mount DMA245 Bluetooth enabled audio panel for experimental and light sport aircraft. We also have the GMA245R remote mount audio panel, which is all bl also Bluetooth enabled. Both interact with G3X Touch and have on screen controls. We have a nice backlit keypad, both dedicated volume controls for the pilot and cove pilot, as well as USB front mounted charging port. Within G3X Touch, we can access the GMA245R or GMA245 uh, via the touchscreen display on G3X Touch as well. We have our radio selection menu here, our intercom menu, phone and media if we connect a device via Bluetooth to the audio panel, and then control for music input. Once we have our Bluetooth enabled device paired with the GMA245 or 245R, in this case we can control it on the screen of G3X Touch. We can see not only the strength of and reception of our phone, but also the battery life available. To control the music input, we can go over to the music input page and independently the pilot, co-pilot, and passengers can all listen to separate music sources. For example, the pilot could select Music 1 as source, Sirius XM music, or the Bluetooth source like we have paired with our phone today. Down here at the bottom, we get advanced features to control the music effects. For Music 1, we can select the bass boost level and equalizer. For example, on the bass boost level, you can select none, medium, or high. For equalizer, select none, rock, 
classical or pop. Here we have an incoming phone call. To answer the phone call, we'll just simply select answer. Hello? Hey, this is Michael. I'd like to sell you an audio panel. Okay, order a white rice and an egg roll, please. The GMA 245 is expected to be available in Q2 for $1,325, and the GMA 245R is expected to also be available at that same time for $1,199. You'll read about the G5 in a future issue of Kit Plains Magazine. Reporting for Kit Plains, I'm Larry Anglesano with Garmin's Jessica Koss. Thanks for watching.